Today, we will learn how to configure the stacking function on Cloud Engine 12800 switches. The stacking function virtualizes multiple physical switches into a single logical switch. These physical switches are connected into a stack using cables. This function simplifies the network topology, configuration and maintenance, and increases network bandwidth and number of ports. The following introduces the roadmap of setting up a stack and two Cloud Engine 12800 switches. First, connect the two switches using stack cables based on the network planning. After the two switches are connected, configure the stacking function on one switch and restart it. Then configure the stacking function on the other switch and restart it. After confirming that the stack has been set up successfully, configure the DAD function to detect the stack split. Next, we will focus on the process of setting up a stack of two Cloud Engine 12800 switches. The first step is to connect stack cables. Links and stack fall into two types, management links and forwarding links. Management links are used to forward stack management and maintenance packets and are connected using SIP ports on MPUs. Each MPU has two SIP ports. To ensure high reliability, you are advised to fully cross-connect SIP ports according to the figure. Forwarding links are used to forward inner chassis service packets and are connected using service ports on LPUs. A forwarding link can be connected to a maximum of 32 ports. To ensure high reliability, use ports on different LPUs in each switch for connections. After stack cables are connected, configure software on the two switches. Configure the switch that is designed as the master switch first. The switch that is first configured is the first to restart and compete to be the master switch. Here assume that two switches, switch 1 and switch 2, need to set up a stack, and switch 1 is designed as the master switch of the stack. First configure the stacking function on switch 1. Log into the switch and configure stack attributes on it, including the stack member ID, stack priority, stack domain ID, and stack connection mode. Create a logical stack port and add physical member ports to it. These physical member ports are connected to forwarding links. After you complete the preceding configurations, save the switch configuration and enable the stacking function. Now we will perform operations on switch 1 as a demonstration. Log in to switch 1, enter the stack management view and set its stack member ID to 1, stack priority to 150, stack domain ID to 10 and stack connection mode to MPU connection mode. Create a logical stack port and add ports 1 to 4 that are on LPUs in slots 1 and 2 to the logical stack port. After you complete these configurations, run the display stack configuration command to check whether the stack configuration for the next startup is consistent with the expected configuration. After confirming that the configurations are consistent, save the switch configuration and then enable the stacking function on switch 1. The switch automatically restarts after the stacking function is enabled. Configure switch 2 after configuring switch 1. The process of configuring switch 2 is similar to that of configuring switch 1. That is, configure stack attributes, create a logical stack port, add physical member ports to it, save the configuration, and enable the stacking function. Note that the two switches must have the same stack domain ID and stack connection mode configured. Otherwise, the two switches cannot set up a stack. Now we will perform operations on switch 2 as a demonstration. Log in to switch 2. Enter the stack management view and set its stack member ID to 2 and its stack priority to 100. On switch 2, set the same stack domain ID and stack connection mode as switch 1. That is, set the stack domain ID 10 and MPU connection mode on switch 2. Then create a logical stack port and add the ports connected to switch 1 to the logical stack port. Run the display stack configuration command to check whether the stack configuration is consistent with the expected configuration. After confirming that the configurations are consistent, save the switch configuration and then enable the stacking function on switch 2. After you complete the preceding configurations, wait for 10 minutes, log in to switch 1 or switch 2 again, and then run the display stack command to check whether the stack is set up successfully. If you can view information about the two switches, the stack has been set up successfully.
After confirming that the stack has been set up, configure the DAD function to detect the stack split. Two DAD modes are commonly used, DAD in direct mode and DAD in relay mode. In direct mode, DAD is performed using the dedicated link between the two switches. When configuring the direct mode, connect the two switches and enable DAD on their connected interfaces. In relay mode, DAD is performed using the inner device aggregation link between the stack and upstream and downstream devices. When configuring the relay mode, enable DAD on the link aggregation interfaces of the stack and enable the relay function on the link aggregation interfaces of the relay agent. Note that the direct mode and relay mode cannot be configured simultaneously in the same stack. After you complete the preceding configurations, run the save command immediately to save the stack configuration. The preceding content describes the process of setting up a stack of two Cloud Engine 12800 switches. If the stack cannot be set up, can you locate and rectify this fault? First, check the two switch models against the corresponding product manual or stack assistant tool to determine whether the two switches can set up a stack together. If they cannot set up a stack together, replace them with two switches that can. Check whether the stack configurations of the two switches are correct. For example, check whether their stack domain IDs are the same and whether they have the stack offline configuration. If their stack configurations are incorrect, modify their stack configurations. Check whether the stack connections between the two switches meet requirements stated in the corresponding product manual. If the stack connections do not meet stack connection requirements, correct the stack connections. Check whether ports used for stack connections are up. If not, check whether optical modules and fibers are faulty. If optical modules or fibers are faulty, replace them. Then run the display stack troubleshooting command to check whether stack failures occur. This command records stack setup failures, including configuration errors and connection errors. Troubleshoot these failures according to the failure event description. If the fault persists, collect the configuration and log information of the switches and contact technical support personnel. That brings us to the end of the stack setup process and troubleshooting of Cloud Engine 12800 switches. To watch more of our Cloud Engine series switch videos, log in to Huawei support webpage for enterprise customers. Under Support by Product, select Multimedia. On the displayed multimedia portal, click Switch and choose a Cloud Engine series switch. Then you can view videos about that series.